All right. Hello, everybody. We're going to look at uh, sign law a little bit more today in this lesson. Uh, so that's the first page, as always, there for the uh, practice work you just submit. Um, so here's a review of some of the stuff we've done and then the tiny bit extra that we're doing to give you a little more practice with it. Um, so sign law, we're going to be looking at solving triangles, which you'll see in the example I do means that you determine all of the missing values, anything rather than just a given one that you're looking for. Um, and then a case where you're not given the, the triangle, I should add in a word here, given the triangle picture is the case like we saw before with uh, similar triangles. The key is going to be just to draw the picture to make it nice and easy. And I'm going to restart this thing because I think see, oh no, it should be fine actually. My smart board for a lot of different screen, but you should just look at the screen rather than project your screen. All right, so that sign law question. Let's pause, give it a try, come back, see the solution here. Um, recognize, of course, that you have to try and identify with sign law, right? So like, you know, have to see if sign law um, gets used. So put it here, like I did this like, later on, you have to recognize that it's a sign law question, right? So um, that sign law can be used not automatic, you're just going to sign law and of course, right? So you do that by looking and saying, okay, I want this side. Oh, look, I've got the opposite angle. That's a good start. And I have another side and opposite angle. So we've got crisscross information. So sign law. You can use it. Crisscross information, sign law. So as usual, I'm going to show you like we did in the previous lesson, you start with the thing you're looking for, it's on the top, so side over the opposite sign, the sign of the opposite angle, and then another side over the sign of the opposite angle. Okay. So you run some numbers, and I'll show you where you could do this to where you multiply sine 72 on both sides. Or you could get them all as numbers and then multiply. It's kind of easier to do this way because you're writing out a bunch of numbers. So we end up with E solve for. You can just calculate it. You get what? Grab a calculator here, make sure we're in degrees, and we're going to do the sine of 72, get that anchored as a number, multiply by 14, divide by sine of 95, as long as your calculator is dividing uh, correctly. Result from the 14 times sine 72, and then get that divided by the result of sine 95. Should end up with 13.365 dot dot dot. So if you're rounding to one decimal place or so, 13.4. It's 13.4. So that works out. So I had last time the solution, I did show a little more number work that time. So both options kind of shown on the records of how we did it. Um, this one again, pause if you need to slow down. I'm just going to go for it here. I um, recommend pressing pause and trying it. It's just especially since this is the review. Um, yeah, so same deal. Make sure you can see that you can use sign law. It's just good habit because later on you'll need to make sure and you'll need to you can recognize sign law as the one and then use it. Uh, so for this one, I'm looking for angle C. So I'm going to start with sign for angle C. So in fact, add this in, start with this on top. Just makes your algebra work a little bit easier. Same thing here, start with this on top. This makes your life easier. Carter, you could work smarter, right? Um, so sine of C over the opposite side, 22, is equal to sine of the other angle. That we know we're working with 52 sine 52 over the 18 to the opposite side. So for this one, we have 22. And that's going to give me sine C left over. 
kind of science here. I've been doing sign in any old procedure. So either way. Um, so over here, I've got sine of 52. Sine of 52 multiplied by 22. Divide by 18. So I get sine of C equals 0 0.963 dot dot dot. And of course, I'm going to get rid of sine. Sine inverse. Both sides. So that makes that go away, leaving us with angle C that we want is sine inverse of that stuff. So sine inverse of the 0.963 dot 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 equals 74.391. And I'm rounding reasonably 74.4, I guess. Extra decimal this accident. 74.4 degrees in that case, because it's an angle. And, and we're doing centimeters, so I should go back and add that into this is centimeters since we were given a unit. Where we have yeah, this one's meters. 13.4 meters. So the units given in that one. This one, I'll be able to send me your space for not finding the sides. All right, next one here. The slightly different thing is if you're uh, asked to solve a triangle, just to clarify and communicate what that means, it means find everything, anything and everything. Um, so it's not to yeah, look for all the values. Um, so for using sine law in this case, um, we'd be able to do that if uh, this first step we add on. Okay, first, we're going to get this angle. Okay, so first, we have angle D uh, plus 68 plus 64 equals 180, of course, right? And so subtract 68 and 64 on both sides. Leaves us with how much share 180 by 68, take away 64, 48 degrees. All right, so you need to sort of recognize that you can do that so that you're going to have a complete uh, opposite side angle pair. And then you could use you know, the 68 to get this one or the 64 to get this one. Right? RD, if you want to use the 64. So basically, you just have to set up. Sign law uh, ratios or equations, or however you want to look at it, and then we get some numbers. So the ED side that we're looking for, we can start with that. ED over sine of 68 equal the 22 for the sine of 48. We just multiply across to get. ED all by itself, like usual. And we're left with ED equals all that stuff. So we're going to do the 22 times the sine of 68 divided by 48. 27.4. So 7.448, so I just rounded. So ED is 27.4 centimeters. So there's that number there, 27.4. And then very similar work for the 27.4 down here. Very similar work for the one that I labeled by accident, the RD. And so on. Right? Which you can do over here. The I labeled that as E this time with the way I did it, but yeah, there's your 26.6 it works out to be. And then the only other thing we need to cover for you to be able to do all of the practice type questions we want to accomplish um, is what if you're not given the picture? So if you're not given the picture, of course, you're going to draw the thing and, and label it, right? Um, so you don't even have to, just like before, you don't have to uh, worry about doing it. Um, Correctly, basically, you don't worry about measuring 30 degrees and so on. You can just label it as E, F, G, and then and very carefully just labeling on. So angle F was given as 30, angle E was given as 80, side E, so side E is opposite angle E, so that's the 16. And basically, you just have to solve for everything else. All right, so 
you want to go ahead and label the rest of them as F and that's G and so on. That's pretty much all they want that one. So we can get this angle, of course, the normal way where we have our um, actually maybe I'll solve for that angle. Get the side in the angle. Uh, we're going to need that angle or get the side on the other side. So yeah, we need this one. So this this gets uh, 30 plus the 80 plus the G equals the 180. So we're taking away 80 gets 100 to the 30 is 70, right? So it's pretty easy to do that one and get that working. Um, so if I'm choosing a sine law to work with, I could do sine law like that. Like this right away, given information. I'll get me the side F, side F over sine of 30 equal uh, side 16 over sine of 8. So sine 30 multiplies out on both sides. Let's rid of it. F is left over just being 16 times sine of 30 divided by sine of 80. Sine of 30 is the half, so it's 8 divided by sine of 80. 8.123, so 8.1. And it was no units given at all, so just 8.1 units. Um, and then what's for, I guess for G next, G over sine of uh, 70 equal, right? Let's do a red pair here, right? And then one of the original ones is the 16 over sine D. So we have 16 over sine of 80, just another pair of angle and opposites to the sides. So multiply by sine 70 this time. Sine of seven. We got the angle just directly with the fact that they add to 180, and it, the only work to do is two sine laws to get to the same sides. Pretty typical how the questions kind of go. So 16 times sine of 70, have that one memorized, divided by sine of 80, 15.26, so 15.3, I guess. All right, so that's what it looks like you're trying to solve. You just have to get every missing piece. So notice you're missing an angle or missing two sides. So determine them. There could have been a solving question where uh, you'd have to figure out the missing angle to this one just didn't have that uh, component with sine law. These could be the opposite side. So picture one where you're missing this kind of way, right? Where you've got a pair and you're missing an angle instead of a pair and missing a side. Okay. Hopefully that gives you everything you need to practice and complete those successfully. Uh, submit them once you're done, and I'll check them out for you and get some feedback. All right. Go.